Thank you. Thank you, Mark. It's so difficult to stand now after this show. It's not a comedy show at all. Um, what do you remember if I ask you to don't talk, of, don't shout it, but remember a letter, a four word letter starts with F. <laughs> so we are going to discuss that now. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. I hope you've been enjoying these sessions. How is that so far? It's good, bad, ugly? No? It's good? Cool. We were, we were discussing you know, yesterday's session that we had a lead program, right? We had discussed with, uh, we had a team of design leaders. It's a bit of a closed session. So they were actually concerned about their teams. We were trying to understand the challenges. They said, we need to upskill our teams. There are so many concerns. Then we realized that more than the junior folks, as design leaders, we need more gyan. We need more understanding of the challenges at that top level. As a platform, how can we bridge the gap? Yesterday we did discuss about, it took us 19 years to travel from awareness to acceptance. And we did discuss about a gap, right? To reach to advocacy. If it takes 19 years to reach this session, it's like awareness to acceptance, how long is it going to take to get this to advocacy? There is a gap. I don't know whether you guys have realized that, what we are missing out. So when we started discussing about, then slowly the design leaders started revealing an interesting issues. We pretend that we are leading. We pretend that we know everything. And we read books and we listen to somebody else and we own it and we talk and we preach. Are we the really the leaders? We are the leaders, we are grooming our next generation. What is actually going behind the scenes? Have you guys realized it? The fear. The fear of failure. Only one CEO so far who made it, a design founder, Airbnb design founder, the one CEO so far in the Fortune 500 companies, right? The only one entire world I'm talking about, not just India. What are we doing, man? The fear is we are pretending that we are, you know, confident. The fear of failure, fear of technology. Today we are talking about AI. And look at the talks, look at the you know, uh, articles coming up, how much we understood. Where are we? We always complain that technology does something and then we, we are, like an, we are a design is an afterthought. Right now we say, no, 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 we are doing wireframes first and now they are doing development. But we don't have a say at a you know, strategic level. We claim that, I, I got a seat, but we don't talk. The reason for that is we are fragile. We are worried about pixels. We are worried about details. Now we are worried about models. We don't have any big picture. We are emotional. We don't want to accept it. 
we pretend. How many of you agree with this? Please raise your hand. Be bold, at least now. How can we solve this? It took 19 years to say that I got a seat at the you know, sea level and still pretending that we are leaders. And we have one more step to say that design advocacy, right? Do you want to take 19 more years to reach that? At least, you know, the lead session revealed that. Initially, they were talking about, hey, my team is this, my team is this, I got this, I got this. Then we started breaking it down, then they came out. They said, yes, I don't have a voice. They're not even sponsoring your trip. I know that very few people yesterday we were asking, right? They could influence. You don't have an influential power to bring your team to this conference. Not only this conference, any conference. Because you're talking about upskilling my team. Somebody decides, okay, go to you know, LinkedIn Learning and then do it. And design schools. Design schools, they're shying away to come to these conferences because everybody knows that this guy don't know anything and he's going to teach. Right? Look at how many design schools have entered today. They see that, okay, if I come here, well, this guy came here to learn and what he's going to teach. How are we relevant? And we are talking about AI. Isn't it threatening us? So what is our future? Do you want to take this battle alone? You want to fight? You want to fight for the voice alone? Take one more, 19 more years to say that, yes, now I have a say. How can we solve this? But in fact, AI is giving another chance. When we started talking about internet, that was a great opportunity for us. We made careers out of it. Now, mobile. Then we, some of you said, oh my God, something has changed. How do I adapt to that and be relevant? Now we are in, again, confused state. We are not taking this as an opportunity, right? We are worried about, and we are slowly deviating about talking about something, ethics and all those, because somebody tells, it's easy to say. If, but you have to use this power of AI and change the design, thinking, or the way it works. In fact, it is so much of change. We are worried about losing jobs. So many people say, what happens? Because we are, as I said, we are focused on, we are actually like, you know, stuck with tools. We are stuck with processes. We are worried about double diamonds. Right? What we can do? We can change the shape. A diamond shape will change a bit and say, I invented a new diamond. That's the maximum we are doing it. And we are stuck with design thinking, the word. Somebody coined it, we are owning it. Right? When can we come, up, come out? And India, we have so much of potential. We are still following what West is going to do, then let me read about it and then talk in the conferences. So, and I talk about UX India and beyond, I don't want to listen to these talks anymore. We don't want to curate these talks anymore next year. What we want to learn? What is important for us? How can we together solve this problem? Do you want to take this individually, go for this battle in 19 years and then come back after 19 years? Okay, now I'm great. Do you want to still go ahead with what happened to this? Okay. We, I feel that we need to introspect and collectively, if you are taking this battle alone because you are pretending, you are saying that I'm good, oh, this guy is talking about others, I'm not the person. 
Everybody is thinking like that. But in fact, this, these are the, not my words. It was a collective thing. We realized in the a small cohort we ran last two days, I was like not visible much because some of our design leaders, we were actually in a closed session understanding. When we were talking to some of our speakers, some of our participants, and collecting the information. Because our responsibility as a platform, building a community, what we can give it to you. You guys can learn from the talks. Subject you can learn, and you can participate, and you can give gyan. But our responsibility is to understand how do we you know, uplift this community to the next level. So to explain it about UMO lead, this is, we just started a, a small cohort, and we try to understand challenges and opportunities. And as I said, initially it was about their teams, then later on about themselves. First, you need to introspect as a design leader, then give a direction to your team and the company and then society. Some of our cohort members said, let's post it. I said, no. Don't make publicity now without having any result, without having conviction. We want publicity here. I am mentoring and 100 likes, I feel proud. Right? What are you learning from them? And who are you learning from? You are learning from somebody like a, somebody like you who is also, you know, going with that inferior feeling and by pretending that. And he's trying to teach you, he's just graduated. So, I'm hoping that we're going to get more leaders into this lead program and we want to collectively take this battle and test it within their companies. For example, some of those areas we discussed, design impact. We don't have any index. We don't have how much impact we are creating in your company or in organizations to the people. We don't have any measure so far. Can we do something in that? Something like upskilling not just only for your team members, also for you. And many more, many more things we've identified. But for myself and also team, I said, we are left with 363 days because we spent two days already started thinking about it. Next one year, we want results. That's what I'm telling you guys. This is not to show it in the public or tell to the world that we are going to do it. We talk only when we have the impact stories. We need to bring the impact stories. And we also orient for a social good. We are only worried about wireframes. And, you know, in the future, you don't have to do wireframes. Technology is going to take care of it. Then what will you do, guys? We are calling a new word, UI, UX. It's a useless word. There is no UI later on. Technology is going to take. Then where are you? At least understand how can you tame this new technology for a social good. Right? So can we become a better version of ourselves? So how are you planning to do these things in 2024. As I said, if you don't have a timeline, I think all of you have a project timeline, right? My project timeline, our project timeline is 363 days. Let's see what we want to do. We don't want to do a conference, beyond conference. We want to celebrate your impact stories. We want to listen to your stories of impact, what you have created, what you have learned, and what you have changed in your company, and what kind of impact you have created in society. Okay, not the bookish knowledge of what is AI. Okay, what you have done, how that can be made better. Our life, our products, 
our society more than what we are doing today. Okay? So I'm just giving you a, a, a glimpse of what we are going to do. Think about today we are talking about 1012, I think we were our number. What if, if we have 5,000 people coming next year? Imagine the scale. One, we are also launching one million women program. Yesterday we did talk about a bit. We want one million women design literate. And students, we had 13% of students. So we are actually introspecting how do we enable those? Can we have, because they are next generation, can we enable them in a different way so that they can participate in a conference? And these are, right now you see design awards and all, but this is just a beginning, but we're going to have more fun. And these three days is enough to do so many things. No? Not enough? <laughs> okay? And a completely redesigned experience. We're going to reach out to you, and we are all going to co-create this celebration. Right? We're going to ask you, each and every one, What's your name? Chandra? Abhijit, okay. So you spoke, right, this, this conference? Okay, what about you? So you want to share impact story next year? Sure. About you? Would you like to share? Each and every one here should play a role. Can we? Next year? As I said, no experience level. You need to come up with a story, impact, what you have created. I don't want to see anything coming from the books, from the articles. You need to do some act, understand self-realization. Agree that, where we are. Don't pretend. Come out of this shell. Let us, story, let us share our impact stories. Inspire others. We need to inspire our community, right? So, by saying that, our conference is going to be a one week long from 23rd to 27th September, Hyderabad. Is it okay? What? <laughs> okay. So, we are, today we are India's biggest conference. Do you think this, you can achieve this? Can we bring India to the world map that world's biggest conference, UX conference happens in India? Are we proud of it? Shall we? I need more sound from the back. Let's do it. Shall we meet next year? But, we also have 4,000 more people are going to join. 4,000 more people are going to join. We want to make 5,000 people attending this conference. Okay? Thank you, guys. Enjoy the last day of the conference. Before I leave, anybody wants any, any questions you have? Anybody wants to ask any question, any feedback? Anybody? Of course, okay, let's give. Hello. Yo, I, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you to, you know, whatever things you are doing right now for the design community. So far, whatever you have done, you know, is a very, very, very nice initiative that you have taken. I believe that next year it will be 10,000, not 5,000, sir. So thank you so much for giving us opportunity to learn from each other. I have met with like so many people here, I, I really loved that, you know, I have learned from many of these people in, from a different perspective, you know. The way I see, uh, because I am into enterprise uh, UX, uh, the world is not looking us as a design hub and that's the, one of the major problem when we talk about from a business perspective. And the way you are talking, I think we will be on that particular league for sure. sure. Thank you so much, sir, Thank for you. organizing all this for us. Hi. Um, yeah, can you okay. hear me? Hi. Yeah. 
here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh, thank you for this. I think the last two days have been amazing and I I'm looking forward to the third day as well. Sorry, I'm Ami from Amazon. Uh, I'm here from the Alexa India team. Um, I really, really like the thing that you said about impact. Uh, and I think it's really important that we talk about it. I want to take it a step further. I also said it the uh, day before yesterday when there was a networking pod. Rather than design impact, let's go one step further and call it a customer impact, right? What is the customer impact of design, right? I would like to see that. I don't want to see, you know, I improved the usability score from five to seven. That's not enough, right? I don't want to reach advocacy. I want to go to admiration, right? That's my goal. So, and we'll be able to get there when we say, not only did I improve from five to seven, the usability score, that improved the profit line from 1 million to 5 million, right? It had an impact of $4 million. Design has an impact of $4 million. This design feature had an impact of these million dollars. I think that's where we need to go, not just, you know, uh, talk about our design metrics, but also the business metrics, how right. design impacts business. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So. I think we all should co-curate this and I just wanted to tell you, I think we should go beyond customer. We should actually do life-centric design. Life-centric, not just only the people, complete life-centric. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, hi. Okay. So I'm quite a big fan of you. I mean, I've, I think uh, Bangalore, again, ITC Gardenia, where I met you for the first time. And uh, again, I got into uh, UX uh, since 2012 and my idea was how can I learn and educate people around. So that's the reason earlier I was associated with the university in the north and now I'm with Atlas Skilltech University. We are trying to integrate technology or ideas or subjects that, are, that can make students future ready. And I'm very, I'm in sync with you when you say education institutions have to come together. Correct. I also remember there was this educational panel that we had at, at uh, I think, 2016 or something. Yeah, yeah. So it was a good discussion, you know, how we were discussing from different colleges, like IIT was there, MIT was there. Uh, you know, it, it's good to prepare students, good to understand what is, and today if I, whatever I'm taking back, if I share that with the students, which could be right from mood mapping uh, on the OTT platforms to anything else, they don't, don't even have like a slight idea about it. So I believe that this is something which you should always take away, take back and, you know, share with the future generation. Thank yep. you. Thank you. And, yeah, thank you. So apart from this impact stories, I also wanted to know how many entrepreneurs we have already made in the next one year. Not just only starting design studios, but products. Of course, we have so many design studios evolving, we also want to see entrepreneurs, design entrepreneurs, okay? Any promise from anybody here? Come out of that fear, man. It's okay to fail, right? Come out of the fear. Just let's start experimenting. Okay, uh, we'll take one last one. Yeah. Abhijit. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'm from a Tier 3 city called Calicut. And uh, I feel to achieve your goal, we should have mini conferences every month till next year on, uh, you know, tier sure. three cities like Maybe that. Maybe we can plan it for I the next this, one year. this will, yes. you know, uh, bring the crowd uh, yeah. as we expected, right? Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. One more. <laughs> okay. Service designer, and I think as a service designer, I can see that uh, conferences like this bring a lot of inspiration for people like me. I think a few years back when I came to service, I, mean, I was just getting into service design, UX India uh, sort of validated a lot of these thoughts where, okay, am I the only service designer here? And so I think even this time I spoke to so many people who are interested in design, but they're not really necessarily wanting to work around UI. So I think conferences like this show them that there are a lot of more avenues in design, like uh, I can't draw at all, so I know that's another thing. I see a lot of designers having a very uh, specific perspective of it, and conferences like this, I think, question those thoughts and break those beliefs. So. Oh yeah, I want to see this conference continuing to do that as well. Thank you. Thank you.